is a pathway planner that was done by Dr. Ben Lynch, and he's a naturopathic doctor, and his biochemistry is phenomenal. So basically, what I want to sort of just go through is what is happening um, in the body. So when we have children who have fans and pandas, chronic infection, and they have uh, neurological symptoms, the biochemistry has shifted from this section you know, and this section. So here we've got, um, here it is, sorry, melatonin, right? We've got serotonin, we've got dopamine. Do we need these to have proper balance? Then we have dopamine becoming norepinephrine. And for regulated mood, we need a balance of serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, and we need enough melatonin to sleep. So when children have pans and pandas, what happens is that instead of tryptophan, you know, going through these pathways and becoming serotonin, it goes this way. And this is chaos land. Uh, this is an important part of our biochemistry. This helps us fight microbes, but it helps us fight things in an acute situation. Our biochemistry is not well suited to chronic infection. And so because of heavy metals in our environment, when microbes enter our body, now they can hide within a biofilm. So biofilm is made up of two layers. One is the heavy metals or minerals, and then the other is a sticky, gooey layer, uh, an extra polysaccharide sort of matrix on the outside. So this sticky, gooey, mucousy um, house can house a poly kingdom of microbes, so yeast, viruses, bacteria, and parasites. And they all live together, and then viruses have an extra little protection called a virome. And so it's really important to get that vitamin A in because the virome has to be supported and then the viruses in our microbiome police the opportunistic or bad microbes. So what happens is 95% of children's tryptophan evaporates. It's gone. So they don't have the ability to then make serotonin. So this chaos land basically is governed by glutamate. So glutamate is the most plentiful neurotransmitter. It is an excitatory transmitter. So this is where we get children with racing minds, OCD, fear, tics, um, anxiety, panic, because when the brain is overexcited, it is very, very uh, disruptive and very upsetting. And so kids will become obsessive or fixated, um, because they're trying to control what is essentially out of control in the brain. So there's actually quite a system for managing excess glutamate in the brain. And we rely on this system like a roadmap or a recipe to bring down the glutamate. And so the only way we can start this process to kind of get over to, you know, what my sister calls the promised land. So over here where things are making us feel regulated and you know we can manage our sensory system we can manage our mood we have to have children off grains and two reasons one the grains cause the tryptophan to go this direction into chaos land and then the other one has to do with the folates so uh, i'm not going to touch on this a ton but synthetic folic acid is in our grains it's fortified in the grains and the folate receptors in our bodies and in our brains preferentially bind synthetic folic acid. So then you're jamming up this cycle. Okay, chronic infection does all kinds of things. I'm gonna kind of focus just in, in this area, but you know, we, we've got all kinds of other contributors like this important BH4, um, this then goes away and it tries to manage the chronic infections by triggering a different pathway. So that pathway is, you know, in the whole cell danger response. So if we want to reverse this, it's it's actually quite straightforward. Take out the grains, put in something like B12, start getting people making more uh, serotonin, more dopamine. And you'll see in here B6, this is very, very important. Um, the methylation cycle is essential. So this over here, this is in the promised land, this runs on B12. So by cranking this wheel over here, it's pulling children away from chaos land and allowing the whole system to regulate. So grain-free B12 injections, vitamin A, 
and the vitamin A should be given with an omega-3 um, or a healthy fat because it's fat soluble and that will help to ensure and optimize absorption. Um, and then of course the other major uh, key to treatments, uh, treating chronic infections, PANS, PANDAS, chronic Lyme disease, is that when you're here, the digestive system shuts down, the motility is impaired, and children just accumulate more and more of that biofilm, that sticky goo, and the intestine is very, very long. And so all of that intestine, if you unravel it, I think is what, 15 feet long? And you can have gooey, sticky stuff uh, coating the walls or stuck to the walls, um, causing that aggravation in the brain. So hopefully that makes sense. And uh, I will sort of look at this biochemistry in a, in a different way as we move forward, as these other pathways um, become more important to support. So that's like things down here, like B6 you see, and all these little supports here are, are, are needed. So that's uh, typically, um, we do that with a high dose B complex, um, with a full multivitamin with the minerals like manganese and selenium. So these are essential to stabilize all these little genes in here. Genes or enzymes, you know, take a product and they flip it. They turn it into something else. And all of the cofactors are, are vitamins and minerals. Um, and so that those will be future steps. Okay.